Hello, it's Jimmy here at Oily. So, I've got here a Renault Master or a Vauxhall Movano, basically the same van. Just going to talk about why you shouldn't buy replacement wing mirrors for these Euro 6 vans or cars uh, from eBay and places like that. You can buy them from them places, of course, but the problem is, is you need to make sure it's compatible with the vehicle that you're going to put it on. Now, this vehicle has got a array of uh, problems with the DPF add loose system, nitro nitrogen oxide exceedance, oil dilution faults, all sorts of errors um, that nobody can figure out and as soon as I got in the van of course because of my experience with these sort of things I didn't even need to plug the machine in I know straight away what the problem is so we'll go inside and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this wing mirror was replaced because it was damaged but it's got a sensor inside the wing mirror for the exterior temperature now you can see up there it's flashing at minus two and if we start the vehicle let's switch it off and start it back up you see risk of black ice there which it's not that cold it's about 10 degrees today 10 or 11 so you've got the check hill start assist all of these errors are all related back to that wing mirror got a skid control engine management light spanner on Now if we look at the sensor, it's right there, that little bubble there, under the wing mirror. You can see if you plug in the diagnostic machine, it lists up dozens of different sort of errors. Particle filter performance, engine oil dilution, all of this sort of stuff is all related down to the sensor in the mirror. Okay, so in regards to these mirrors, now of course, he didn't sort of make any sort of... Uh, connection between the mirror and these faults but it all appeared now that I've told him it all appeared after he does remember it all appeared after he changed the wing mirror so just be aware of that when you're buying uh, aftermarket mirrors um, for these not just these Renaults but a lot of most new Euro 6 vehicles what they do is they use that sensor to um, to run a lot of other systems so it's, it's, in particular your AdBlue tank has got a heater inside and when it gets cold that will activate the tank and the heater it also uses the temperature for many other things like how much fuel it wants to put in air air and fuel mixture all of that sort of stuff so yeah just be aware of that when you're when you're doing it so that's it uh, see you in our next video